This video will show how easy it is to configure the OPC UA server in Wago's new PFC series. Here we've got a PFC 100 and analog input module with an RTD wired in. So if we go into the e-cockpit and we double click on the controller, we can go into the RTD module and just give a name to the first analog input. You can see our IP address for the PLC here is 192.168.4.17. And very simple program here, I just have uh, three variables, a real, a string, and a boolean, and then a simple web visualization to show the status of those. So if you right click on application and click symbol configuration and check the support OPC UA features, that'll bring up this context where you can uh, click build and then you just select the global variables and that will create the OPC objects for you. So just right click on application and connect and then run that application. Then if we go to the visualization, you can see the updated status there. So we're ready to configure our client now. We're using Ignition in this demonstration. If I go to the Server tab, I can add an OPC UA server. And I just type in the IP address of my PLC followed by the port, which is 4840. Click Next. Uh, I just have to give a name to this. I'm going to call it Wago OPC. And then we can click Create New OPC Connection. And now we're ready to uh, use the Quick Client to browse the tags on the PLC. Notice we didn't use any Modbus or Ethernet IP or anything like that. This is native OPC DA to the PLC. Uh, so if I navigate down uh, inside the global variables, there are my three variables that I created. And I can subscribe here and view the values of those right there in real time. So we'll bring up our web visualization being hosted on our PLC. And we can modify the, the values of these variables just to see that they're updating. So my boolean's working. I'll try a couple different text strings to see that that uh, string variables are handled by the OPC uh, server as well, and it is. And then lastly, I'll just put my hand on the RTD to warm it up. So I think you'll find this is a much faster way to bring tags into your SCADA system compared to the old way. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.